On the surface, the ocarina looks to be fairly straightforward, right? You blow into it and it makes sound. And you can press on the finger holes to change that sound. There are no strings that you have to tune, no sticks you have to hit it with, no amps that you have to plug it into. An electric ocarina does sound pretty cool though. But what's actually happening inside of an ocarina? How does an ocarina work? While there might not be any steam engines or hamster wheels inside of an ocarina, the physics of the instrument is actually pretty cool. Or, for you non-scientific folks out there, the universe magic. The inside of an ocarina is composed of four main parts. The windway, the sound hole, the chamber, and the labium. Think of the labium like a stoplight and the sound hole an intersection. When you blow air into the windway, it is directed into the chamber through the sound hole where the air pressure builds. Once the pressure becomes high enough inside the chamber, the stoplight changes, directing traffic from inside the chamber out through that same sound hole, creating a temporary pause in traffic. This happens so quickly that it causes the air to vibrate and produce sound, and which sound comes out depends on the level of pressure, which you control by covering or uncovering the sound holes. In this video, we're going to demonstrate exactly what's happening inside of an ocarina by making one ourselves using a carrot. But first, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving the video a like so we can continue to spread the ocarina love to new viewers. And without further ado, the Ocaratina, patent pending. Materials required, a fresh large carrot, a sharp knife, two drill bits. We used three quarters and one quarter, and one optional power drill. Take a carrot, cut off the tip of the carrot so it looks like this. Take the three fourths drill bit and start hollowing the carrot at the center. You can use a power drill if you have one. Clean out the debris. An inch from the top, gently slice the carrot at 90 degrees down to a depth of approximately half an inch. Then move down about a half inch from the line you just cut. Slice the carrot again at 45 degree angle towards the line. You may have to trim it several times until the opening looks something similar to this. Next, we have to make a plug to close the opening of the carrot. Take the tip of the carrot that you cut off earlier. Cut the tip so that it's equal to the length from the opening to the air hole. Carefully trim the carrot so that it fits tightly to the opening and can be used as a plug. Now take the plug and cut about an eighth of an inch straight down so it looks like this. Now put the plug back to the carrot. Make sure that the airway is aligned to the air hole. If you like, you can drill some holes on the surface of the carrot. This will allow you to have different pitches. You can now play the carrot ocarina. And there you have it. You might have heard that carrots are good for your eyes. Well, now they're good for your ears too. Thanks for tuning in to the making of the Ocaratina patent pending. Give it a try yourself or experiment with something different, a potato perhaps, and let us know how it goes in the comments section below. If you're a picky eater or prefer for your ocarinas to be made out of something with a longer shelf life, head on over to our website at stlocarina.com to choose from hundreds of different ocarina designs and start creating your own universe magic. Until next time, everyone, be well from STL. Am I close?